don't know. I'm not a Tia. As much as I would like to be. Why don't you be? You uh, can always ask. I already have this part. That's true. I can always take over one day. And you can take over the TO section. If they ever need me to. You should just ask. There's no... The, the demand tomorrow. is not there, though. That's true. We're we, do, not we do have plenty of TOs. We have Ewok very, actually came today? What? Yeah. Uh, is he playing? I believe so. That's cool. So Dyer going Mewtwo today. Interesting. He was playing doubles, actually. Those are, yeah, he is. He went 0-2. Either he got DQ'd or he went 0-2. Oh, Ewok? Yeah. Oh, that was a one. <laughs> I don't know how much he's really practiced this game anymore. Yeah. So now he doesn't get to come out too often. Right. Well, I was going to say, that should be an easy punish for Dyer there, but I don't think his part on that one. Down tilt up there. Now, I'm not sure if you've been looking at Dyer's Twitter, but this is officially his new main. I did out. not see this. I saw. I think I saw him say he's the best Mewtwo in yes. CFL or was it Florida? I think I believe it was CFL. Okay. And he's probably not wrong on that. Definitely not wrong on that. Just <laughs> 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 see that little spiciness come through right there. I thought King Will was about to get something pretty cool with that first string, but... Fortunately, Dyer able to kind of SCI out of there. Not really have to deal with too many shenanigans. Like, okay, right now, one thing that, like, Lake needs to take desperate notes of right now is just the way that Dyer is charging up his Shadow Ball is infinitely better than what Lake does. Because, like, Lake kind of just does it in the most obvious spots, but, like, Dyer fully utilizes his positioning every right. single time. Like, he knows when to take advantage. He knows where to place himself and charge that Shadow Ball at the same time in order to challenge like an aggressive option if he sees him come right out of him. Yeah, that drop show a little bit too early on that one. Yeah, he's, he should have came down with an air there, because that back air was never going to hit. Oh, he had the down jump. air. Oh, uh, I he thought... He thumb smashed out of shield, that, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, I mean, he might have not trusted the hitboxes to work correctly right. there, but he definitely could have done it. Like, waited for him to do it, let it rip, and then you let your own up smash rip. So is Twitch watching Pokemon now? I believe so. That's kind of hype. I have yet to join a Twitch marathon yet, and I'm really sad that I missed out on the JoJo one. I watched some of the JoJo one. It was neat. I never watched Stardust Crusaders. Like, I, I watched, like, the first four episodes. Okay. I never got past that, and I know that would have been the best experience to watch it on. So you've watched... Fan the Blood and Battle Tendency, yes. and you stopped at Stardust Crusader. Yeah, that's where it's You need about. to finish it as soon as you can, buddy. I I'm just do. watching it now with my roommate, and we just finished Stardust Crusaders last night, Good and stuff. he really, really enjoyed it. But the thing is, just like Stardust Crusader starts off kind of slow. It's very slow. So it's just like, I know like later on it gets good. But There's like 48 episodes of it. <laughs> oh, yeah. And unfortunately, not very many of them, if any of them, are skippable. Yeah. As much as I would like them to be, because there's a lot of. It, it's not filler, but it feels like it's it's literally monster of the week at some points. Okay. Um, just, oh, the sense. gang is going this way, and then there's a monster, and they have to fight it for an entire episode. Sometimes two. <laughs> I mean, dog joins in in one of those episodes, right? Who what? The dog? Isn't that? That's yeah. Stardust, right? Yeah, that's there's two seasons. It's Part three itself is split up into two seasons. He doesn't come in until the second half. Okay, okay. All right, and we got the second game, Dyer versus King Will. You know, I wonder if he made the Mewtwo switch specifically more for the Sonic matchup, so he doesn't get uh, annoyed by this. Um, I th he made the Mewtwo switch because he thinks Diddy is bad. Uh, words from words from the man himself: Diddy sucks, and Mewtwo is more fun. So I, th I think he just feels less risk with going with Mewtwo, even though Diddy's pretty safe. Like Diddy is safe, but there is at least. You have to put some type of mental note in there for the execution. Right. You two, you can be a lot more relaxed with how you're going to be doing it. Oh. Aye. Oh, no. There we go. That's going to be the one thing that Dyer's going to have to get used to, is just dying a lot earlier. So, as long as he's comfortable with that, he should be okay with Ninja. Okay, up throw. That's not gonna do it. He's gotta realize that you need rage for that. Yeah, no rage, no yeah. no dice. But Lubber took it. And not using that time to charge up Shadow Ball though. He is fairly high on charge at the moment. 
Oh, I thought he had it. Okay, I, I like this game plan coming up from that right now. Just kind of keeping his distance, but finally gets challenged by that spin dash there. I'm going to get away all the time. Oh, good stuff out. Actually, I had, I didn't know that Nair could uh, stuff out the spin dash. I, I would have thought that spin dash would have had easier time getting through it. I would have thought so too, but I guess not. I guess it depends on the hitboxes, because right. like, the hitboxes just kind of randomly go all over him. So, it probably depends. Oh. I almost had a wicked confirm there. Down throw. King Will might be able to get the pickup right here. Missed kind the tech chase. Yeah. Oh, man. A little bit too greedy with that S-Mash there. Kind of didn't have, like, the right call out. Like, he was just more in a roll. He was more, way more in a position to get an up-smash than he was to get an up-smash there. This would be a little bit more conscious of it. Oh, my God. Double Ooh. untackable spin. It's a really awkward situation to be put in. I forgot if we confirmed if untackable spins were an ultimate or not. Uh, I have no idea. I think somebody said it was removed, but... Word of mouth isn't going to get us anywhere. Yeah, no, that's true. I mean, it's still something that could get patched in later. <laughs> oh, now he's going to his god-awful character <laughs> that he says, I'm viable. <laughs> Let's see now. Let's see what he does. And the only reason he's playing Diddy Kong today from the man himself is because of his wallet. Yep. <laughs> I think we all, all kind of know that. He's <laughs> he just kind of put himself in that position naturally at this point. Yeah. Uh, for his own sake, I hope he can find something outside of Smash soon. He's he, trying. He's, he is working. That's good. That's good. Oh, so jab in there. Ooh. You know, I honestly, I kind of wonder how well King Will does against most Diddy Kongs out there. I've never seen him fight any other Diddy that isn't Kiki or Dire. Yeah, because I, like, I know they kind of have his... I know Kiki, for the most part, has his number. King Wolf can sometimes get dire, but most of the time I say dire's got him. But it's like, oh, uh, what are the, I don't remember seeing him ever fighting, like, Warming Nugget. Yeah. MVD, I'm pretty sure got, he gets destroyed by. Um, oh, is that the kill? Oh, uh, nah. Air dodge just in time. Oh, it was the other one. Jack. Jack was the other one. That's been a while since I heard that name. Oh. Wow, I actually, I'm kind of surprised that Dyer did pick up that banana there, because if he left it there, it would have been able to just catch that spin dash. Would have been able to have a pretty good plan to pick up on it too. Oh, okay, good. I'll have to say, make sure you, make sure you reverse that, otherwise you're gonna get a fat punish. <laughs> That was so perfectly placed for a banana peel. <laughs> like before his man had like a chance to speak, he just had to be slipping up. Look at right me. So like so I was on Twitter today. I saw Max. He tweeted out that what if they hosted a, a Smash event where they had an open mic freestyle tournament you could enter. Oh, so no. like people could get on the mic and just start rap battling each other. And I said if you were going to do that, you would have to have the ER present there because you can only handle so much cringe. <laughs> like, it would not be a pretty sight. Seeing smashers try to throw smash puns at each other. There's a great majority of them. It I think they did that at Smash the Record. Um, mm -hmm. Except it was like wholesome rap battles. So like you can't say anything mean. A smash the Record? Yeah. I don't remember that one. I feel, the, like, the I, feel like it would, I feel like it would be Smash the Record if you're going to do it. I know... Uh, I know... Super Smash Con did a rap battle between Mike Hayes and Chillin' Dude. That one I remember. And yes. then outside of that, we had uh, Smash Sounds, where they had the enough. beatbox battles. You know, I just realized, King Will is kind of running a train on Dyer. I thought yeah. Dyer got a stock on him earlier, but no. I guess not. He's been fighting for the stock the whole game. There we go. Finally Beat gets simple. it. Yeah, no, I mean, I think at this point, now that he's got that stock, momentum's in his favor again. This is probably where we're going to just see Classic Dyer come out. But King Will plays that camping game correctly. He could make it like ungodly infuriating for Dyer to get in. Ooh, okay, good call out there. 
That was actually a really good spring there, just because he had that platform to escape from. I was aware of it, too. The other thing, too, that I've noticed is that he's kind of using that spring as a banana shield as well. Right. Oh, back there. Good DI by Dyer there. I was I was thinking, get, the mindset that Will probably had is that he might be able to catch himself's DI coming through it. Probably expecting up there. That... I was about to say, that might do it, but I guess not enough rage just yet. A good call out by Dyer right there. Barely clips him. Caught his jump too, but not really in position to capitalize off of it. Ooh, nice. Got that kick in there. Very last second on the kick. <gasps> this could be it. Wow. <laughs> I've seen that happen so many times recently. And I like the second he said this could be it, I'm like 100% confirmed King Will is dead. <laughs>